This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now, back in, I think it was August or thereabouts, I did a video in response to a viewer's question, um, kind of going through the different types of uh, electric guitar pickup. In that video, I talked about um, uh, basically humbuckers, single coils, and P90s. And um, what I thought I'd do today is a little bit of a follow up video uh, to that. Not so much kind of talking about the technical differences between the pickups, but, um, you know, focusing on the classic guitar tones that those pickups have uh, generated over the years uh, so to that end I've got a little piece of music coming up in a moment um, featuring a bunch of different guitars and the guitars in question uh, very much um, you know kind of showcase the different pickup tones uh, in the first guitar to hand is the uh, is the Les Paul and we're going to be hearing what the bridge humbucker on the Les Paul sounds like arguably the uh, the most iconic um, pickup tone in all of classic rock but let's not forget the neck pickup. We're going to hear what that sounds like as well. And alongside those two, uh, as I say, classic guitar tones, we're also going to hear what I consider to be uh, one of my favourite uh, guitar tones, the Telecaster Bridge Pickup. Um, Telecaster Neck Pickup has a lot going for it, but for me, this is the, the star of the show on this type of guitar. Just the fact that it's mounted into the bridge and has that uh, different tonal property to a, just a regular bridge single coil pickup just gives it a little bit of something special it is as far as i'm concerned one of the most instantly recognizable guitar pickup tones that you're ever likely to hear so we're going to be hearing that alongside uh, the les paul that we've already mentioned but we're not going to stop there we're also going to be taking a little bit of a listen to the tone that i refer to as the strat quack now i don't have a strat this is the closest I've got. It's a Fender Deluxe Nashville Telecaster. Thank you, Joe. Um, it's basically, it has the usual complement of uh, Telecaster pickups, uh, bridge and neck, as they would normally be on a Telecaster. But we've also got this Strat middle pickup here, which gives you all of the Strat kind of combinations. And if we think all the way back here as being uh, position one on the bridge pickup, then number two, which is the bridge and middle on together, or number four, which is the middle and neck on together, they give a particularly uh, recognisable quacky kind of sound as it's often described. Out of those two settings, um, I when I go for that sort of sound, I inevitably end up using the bridge and middle together. It's just my favourite out of those two sounds, but they are very, very similar anyway. Uh, the, the, the kind of position four one is just basically the same, but a little bit mellower. So, you know, the Strat quack. Think Knopfler, think... Robert Cray, and you know, you, you, you're somewhere in the uh, ballpark. Think sort of 80s Clapton as well, I guess, on his uh, famous mongrel strat. He seemed to kind of use that tone quite a bit. So, yes, the strat quack, we're going to hear what that sounds like compared to the bridge and neck humbuckers on a Les Paul, the bridge uh, single coil on a Telecaster, and we've got one other uh, classic guitar tone to throw into the mix, and that is the P90, the soap bar pickup. Um, technically a single coil, because it uses a single coil of wire, unlike a humbucker which uses two coils of wire, um, but these pickups, uh, uh, P90 pickups, have a completely different tonal character to the kind of single coils that you would uh, have in like a Stratocaster or any other regular uh, single coil guitar. They're a lot bigger. Uh, that's the main thing. They kind of listen to a, a wider portion of the string and have a much um, kind of more broader output. They're a lot beefier sounding than a strap pickup or a, you know any other kind of regular single coil pickup. Um, so they, they're kind of more edging towards humbucker territory in terms of the girth and the, the ballsiness of it, but they've still got that top end sparkle that a single coil brings to the party. So kind of an ideal combination of um, attributes in a pickup really so we're going to be listening to uh les paul bridge and neck humbuckers we're going to be listening to uh telecaster bridge single coil we're going to be listening to the stratocaster quack and we're going to be listening to uh some p90 tones as well and they all go together into a piece of music that sounds like this
And as always, you'll find a full tab for that piece of music in both Guitar Pro and PDF format, along with a clip of me playing it, and a jam track to play along with yourself. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, link in the des- description. As I'm sure you know by now, $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these additional goodies that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you who support me in that, or any of the other ways, all of which are linked down below in the description. Thank you so much, one and all. Uh, just a little bit of housekeeping there we can't really d- do a video about guitar tones without talking about what i was plugged into you probably know by now because it's what i always use but it was the blue guitar amp one mercury edition on the vintage channel which has an old school kind of marshally sort of tone and for the um for the shout your high gain stuff that set those settings there with the new x horseman pedal going into the front end for the uh, cleaner sort of stuff like that strap quack, that nofflery first verse kind of section that I did there, uh, again, blue guitar amp one, but this time on the um, on the clean channel. And I also had uh, a little bit of uh, compression on there as well, just a subtle little bit of compression, uh, thanks to the uh, Boss uh, CS3 compression sustainer pedal. I always find when i'm going for that sort of clean stratty lead kind of sound it's it's just a nice uh finishing touch to put on the tone but there you go folks uh those are what i think of as being the classic iconic guitar tones the classic pickup tones that make of it what you will i uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful and informative and hopefully a little bit entertaining and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and all manner of other stuff it's a great way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.